The grand finale of spring ball has come and went for the LA Tech Bulldogs, but it also came with a few surprises and not just from two-time Super Bowl champion Legere Sneed returning home to watch. Points came at a premium cost with the final score reflecting 7-9 to nine due to the defensive line hounding the line of scrimmage, but the offense also had their moments to show that they are capable of attacking the deep ball and in the run game. Spring ball is over, but there's still work to be done. You know, I think the spring game is really the accumulation of what we've done for 14 practices. The guys did a great job this spring. Um, I think there's been a lot of competition back and forth with defense and offense. I think our defense is, is uh, playing really fast. They're playing aggressive. I think they know what to do, and, and I think there's a difference um, in how they play together. And so I think it's presented a lot of challenges for us on offense. There's a, you know, a few things that we've got to improve on offensively as we transition into May and June. But I think overall, you know, special teams, you know, we've got to be better in the kicking game. Um, but I, I was pleased with how our guys have competed every single day. I think this is a group that uh, likes to practice football. I think getting on the same page, everybody understanding what their assignment is, understanding what we're doing, the reason that we're doing everything, I think that's improved uh, light years since last season. Jeremiah Johnson's defensive unit seemed to be the star of the game. They wreaked havoc in the backfield and threw wrinkles in the offensive flow on multiple occasions. They did everything right, collapsing the pocket, stuffing runs at the point of attack, and being aggressive in the passing lanes. They've been doing that all spring. I mean, they, they do a great job um, as far as their backers, the defensive line, Coach Greer's done a phenomenal job with that group. I think it's a deep group. They're very active. Um, and I think we have some guys in that group that come this fall that'll be able to make a lot of plays against whomever we're going against, just like they did today. The run game showed off the ability to create a burst of energy with Amir Wiggins, Denario Davenport, and Jacall Winder ripping off gritty long runs and show the depth that's available in that room. Really excited about the running back room, showing a lot of promise. I'm excited for uh, Marquise Crosby to be back out there. I think they're, it's going to be a really strong, really strong room. Excited to see what they can do. Really like the one-two punch that you have with those guys. Um, and then I think, you know, Marquise Crosby, um, we got to continue to bring him along. I'm encouraged about where he'll be starts this fall. And so, you know, it's a really explosive room with those three guys. The transfer portal continues to create a presence, and the upcoming week will be no different. Ellie Tech has done some work to pull in guys that will produce quickly come this fall. As the dust settles in the next few days, the Bulldogs will continue to look to add more pieces to the offense to find more consistent playmakers. Hopefully we can hang on to, to the core of our guys. You don't really ever know. Um, and we'll probably be active in the portal um, if we have to. Position specific. Um, I think at receiver, we've got to continue to add some depth there and replace some of the, um, the production and the experience that we lost there. And, and I think in the secondary, whether it's a corner or a safety. But otherwise, um, as long as things stay intact from a position standpoint, I like where we're at quarterback-wise, O-line, tight ends, and running backs. And then the D-line, linebackers are a really good group. Covering LA Tech football from the Joe, I'm Jimmy Bryant.